a water drop falls with a uniform velocity find the difference between the curvature radii separated by distance h within the drop so the water is falling with uniform velocity which means acceleration due to gravity exists between these two points i mean its effect exists between these two points for example if it were a free fall then the effect of g will be gone but because it's going with the uniform velocity the effect of g will be there so since velocity is uniform pressure difference within the drop exists due to gravity and that pressure difference will be of course rho g h so p1 plus rho g h is equal to p2 and because the outside atmospheric pressure is p0 p1 we can write as p0 plus delta p1 and p2 will be p0 plus delta p2 so this delta p is due to the curvature radii here and here so obviously the curvature radii will be different so delta p will also be different and that's what we need to find curvature difference between the curvature radii so that's how we will get the curvature radii into equation so one pressure difference we got because of the height and another pressure difference we will get because of the difference in curvature radii so p1 plus rho g is equal to p2 p1 is del p0 plus delta p1 p2 is p0 plus delta p2 now we can assume that the surface still is uh, so if you look at this local surface so let's assume that's part of a some sphere it can be a big sphere so whatever it is it's going to be a part of a spherical surface so the curvature radii there let's say is r1 so excess pressure will be 2s by r1 and here similarly excess pressure will be 2s by r2 we need to find what is r1 minus r2 so we write rho g h is equal to 2s r1 minus r2 by r1 r2 so r1 r2 can be assumed to be r square and what is r square so if the height of the drop is h so we can assume that uh, this if this is a slightly spherical shape then this h is diameter of that so if we are assuming that uh, average of r1 and r2 that's going to be r so this is uh, assumed to be r square and that is h by 2 whole square so h square by 4 so from here we get r1 minus r2 to be our answer so note if it were free fall in so that means acceleration of the drop itself is g in that case p1 will be equal to p2 and drop will be perfectly spherical and of course that pressure will not be p0 so that pressure will be simply p0 plus 2s by r and r will be h by 2 so that will be the case when it is free fall but here because of the uniform velocity the shape is not spherical anymore so this radius this radius is bigger than that of the spherical one and this radius is smaller than that of the spherical one so that's why we assume their average is still going to be the radius of the spherical one which will be h by 2 all right